What's up, y'all? Uh, it's been a minute since I made a last YouTube video. Um, I wanted to get more consistent at it, basically, and I, I was reading through some of the comments of some of you, uh, sent me even some messages asking some questions on our uh, how to make your own Pocket Pro, um, Pocket Pro helmets. Uh, I really appreciate those. I really appreciate the messages, the emails, the comments that you guys have been have sent to me. Uh, maybe over the last year or so since I made a YouTube video. Um, but I wanted, I had some projects going on. Uh, many of you know that um, with COVID and everything, when I was around Christmas time, uh, supply lines really dried up. Uh, I'm sure some of you felt the same way. I'm sure some of you who are in uh, employment situations are feeling the same exact thing even right now. Um, I, I had to end up refunding uh, a couple of Christmas orders because I just was not able to get to them in a timely manner. But um, basically caught up. Uh, got one order left in Missouri Valley and a few D3 and a couple other random ones uh, that I'm going to be wrapping up here very, very shortly. Um, but today I wanted to show you, uh, I believe I mentioned that I had a 3D printer and you may have seen some of this stuff on the, uh, the Pocket Pro Facebook group um, that some people have been making the 3D helmets like this. Uh, coming with all of the, like I screwed it in myself the new model of the helmets by Simon um, are just fantastic and this is what this is going to be today is me showing off just a couple of the helmets that I have printed painted made the decal sheet decal myself um, it's a couple hours worth of work and I'm working at uh, getting all 32 by the time uh, the uh, season kicks off so I can start doing some some matchup things uh, that I've always wanted to do. But this is going to be an Arizona Cardinals. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, it's very incredibly detailed. So I like these things a lot. They're, they're, they're fun. They're fun to make. Um, and it's a nice, it's a nice thing to be able to, to make something and then say you made that, you know? So um, I have two, four, six, eight, Wait, is that right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I have eleven helmets. It'd be twelve with the Arizona. I gotta work out my ink on my printer um, before I do that. But I basically have twelve helmets ready to roll uh, for myself. So we're just a little under halfway to go. Um, as you can tell, uh, I mean, I have some already printed and things like that, and I'll show you what it comes off like. But um, this guy, I think he's gonna be either a 49ers or a Raiders. I can't. I can't. Uh, decide which one yet. Um, I had no particular order for any of these. Uh, they just were whatever I thought were cool and whatever teams that I rooted for in proximity. So this is how they come off of on the um, off of the plate and everything. So you have to work through that and it basically hangs upside down like that. And the supports are absolutely necessary because without the supports, um, you would just have mush. Uh, the supports give it the structure that it needs, gives it the shape that it needs and everything like that. Um, this is how it comes off and then it becomes, here I'll, this is for another gift, but then you clip it, well first you, you wash it and, and uh, I have a washing care station by Illigo or Illigo or however the hell you say it, but um, you wash that in the 91% alcohol, me personally, and then I wash it in uh, just dishwasher soap um, and I rinse it off and everything like that and it becomes, this guy's all clean, ready to roll. He's just got, he just has to be clipped. Um, so that's the Speedflex model that you're looking at right there. There's also the uh, um, F7 model that Simon just came out with, some of you may have seen, which I think is really cool. Haven't gotten around to, uh, actually I did, but I wasn't really happy with the paint job on it because it kind of got up. I'm still learning how to uh, tape it off correctly so that uh, that does not happen. Um, but then you do that, you clip it. Um, I use a Dremel to drill holes in the, not only the face mask, but also the helmet itself. Uh, this newer version has guide holes. The old version, and this is what it used to look like, so you can see kind of the comparison uh, Simon did, just how, incredible it's come. Um, I made it a little bit bigger. I like him a little bit bigger. Uh, but this is what it used to look like. It used to come in three parts. You used to have to glue this uh, back bumper on yourself 
to whereas now you don't have to. Not only is it bigger and it's not rounded like that at the back end, but um, it's also narrower. It's just, if you look inside, the padding is just significantly, significantly above and beyond anything that uh, he's made so far. So I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, I made this for my alma mater. I made a new one with the new model. I know I said I'd show you NFL guys here in a second, but uh, slowly working on that guy. My Hall of Honor USI does not have football, but one can dream. All right, let's get right to the uh, NFL stuff that I promised I'd show you already. Um, we will start with the ones I've done in the AFC. There are six of them, as you hear the chair creak, so that I can reach across and grab these six real quick. A couple NFC South, a couple, three of them actually, uh, an AFC East and then one AFC West for the moment. This is the first one that I did. I'm going to have to kind of redo the bolts a little bit, but the uh, LA Chargers, the back stuff is really, really small. It's not supposed to be like that, but other than that, um, it came out pretty well. I got to redo this bolt again. Like I said, this is one of those redo ones that will just kind of uh, get out the way. Um, these bolts actually need to be significantly bigger. They come all the way back here and they kind of cover the uh, vent holes that I've noticed. Um, so we'll leave that guy up there. The second one that I did was my, uh, growing up, this was my uh, favorite team um, up until they got rid of a majority of the guys that, that I really liked. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts I was fitted with. Everything like that. Stopped watching the Colts there for a while, ever since they got rid of um, Manning, Dallas Clark, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. Um, this goes on and on and on and on and on about, about those guys. And uh, I was pretty pissed, uh, to be honest with you. And it wasn't until recently, maybe within the last year or two, that I've kind of gotten back into them. But um, in the AFC East, the Buffalo Bills, it's also one of my favorite helmets. Uh, everything is pretty much accurate with this guy. Um, kind of got way better at this. This is the new, everybody, you guys might be screaming, they wear a gray face mask. No, they do not. This year they are switching to white. They have, they have made that very clear that they're going to switch to white. Here, I'll put this on the NFC side. Um, this year, uh, and they will do battle, obviously, in division, things like that with the Miami Dolphins. White helmets, I think if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, I've mentioned this before, white helmets are the easiest to make. Uh, clear decals, um, except for the chargers back there. I saw some people in the group talking about um, printing the bolt on a white decal sheet. Um, but uh, yeah, those are some of the easiest to make. So. And we'll stay in the AFC East. I made the New England Patriots. And of course, growing up, um, I was not a huge Patriots fan. In fact, I uh, very much disliked them. But uh, regardless, their helmet is pretty cool. Um, you can probably see some paint strokes on this. That's me just getting better. Um, I'm not, I'm, hand painting is not my strong suit. Um, I've been getting, I got uh, at the recommendation of Mike, um, Blick acrylic art set that I've been using. Uh, I've just been using the white, and even as you saw on the uh, USI concept back there, um, I put you can mix some blues, things like that. So, uh, and then lastly, the ones that I've made in the AFC is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I did this mostly at the request of some people, and then uh, also I like Trevor Lawrence. Um, I'm really rooting for him. I always do to the number 17. And you can barely see it there, but I can see it just fine. Always, always, always for myself, we'll do the number 17. It's my number. Um, that's just my, that's just my personal preference. That's, um, that's for Dave. So, um, okay. Uh, I got to fix the face mask a little bit, but the Dallas Cowboys are next. Uh, my dad growing up, uh, hated the Cowboys. Uh, still like their helmet again, there. Um, silver is super easy to make, uh, from what I've been gathering, sometimes when you make helmets on just regular pocket pros, um, sometimes your decals kind of round and they don't stick and they curl up right, um, especially with some stripes if you don't treat them right, but, 
Um, on these 3D printed, I don't know, it's, it's either I have been doing really well at treating these decals or they just go on super easy uh, on these helmets, but um, I've, been, I've been happy regardless. As you can see, maybe right, yeah, right here, the face mask kind of broke a little bit, so I gotta do another one at some point, and then I have to be way gentler next time. That was just me dropping it, basically. So, more than anything, that's just what, what pissed me off. Uh, we'll put the Cardinals up here because I did the entirety, uh, this is my new home uh, up in the uh, colder parts of the Great Lakes. Um, so naturally I had to make the Detroit Lions. Um, you'll get these lines in your print if they're, if they're something that was obstructing the, um, the print. I naively thought I could just paint over it and obviously it doesn't but it still came out pretty good um to me it was one of the first ones I did uh and it was me just getting to know the team getting to know the helmets getting to know the brand um of basically my new state so I did that made that kind of a priority when I did it uh following that up this was my last one I just made it was the Chicago Bears I did, like I said I did the entirety of the NFC North um, just because I'm going to be seeing a lot more of them here shortly. I had to go to the store and get a, what did I get for this guy? I got, because I've had some uh, clear blue in the past, some navy blue, but I wasn't really happy with it. Um, I think I got a Krylon and then I got a Rust-Oleum for the, the, uh, the Rams and the Giants. That's going to drive me mad if I don't fix that. Okay, there we go. So, um, second one I did, another one that uh, I got to get hand painted better at a little bit because I'm not happy with this corner right here. I'm going to go back and fix that uh, when I have time through work and everything. But the Minnesota Vikings is a good one that I really liked. Um, growing up, I was a huge uh, Louisville fan um, just because that is where my original home is from. Uh, and Teddy Bridgewater got drafted. I... Uh, immediately uh, found myself with a bunch of Viking stuff that my family and friends gave me and everything like that for him. Um, you might be saying this and thinking like, well, this looks a little low. No, that's completely where they wear the, uh, that's where they wear the decal. That's just how it is. And I guess people just don't notice how low some of this stuff is actually placed on it. Um, you'll see that I'm going to, when I do more of these 3D helmets, I'm obviously going to uh, do a part two of this with some new stuff, but um, you'll see the, how just how low on the helmet the uh, the um, Raiders will be. Uh, the Raiders instead of up here, they're it's like down over here in this area. It looks it looks really weird, but like when you're just watching them on TV, I, I guess you don't even notice. Uh, so, lastly, uh, Green Bay Packers. Like I said, the did the entirety of this division. Super happy with did a couple do a couple I go with three or four pass throughs here some prop some people are probably screaming at me right now like you should do more you know to make it look less paint strokey but these are for me um, they're not really for anybody else at the moment and see it just feels like it's completely on there like these I'm super happy with so I'm, I'm super prideful um, of the work that I've done so. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to, um, because I want to do a video once a week. That's that's kind of the thing that I want to do, and I'll move my hands out the way so you guys can see. But um, I want to do a video once a week. So what I'm probably going to do next is just do kind of a speed build of, um, and maybe even work at doing a TikTok. Uh, see if I can figure figure out what the hell I'm doing. Speed build of the Arizona Cardinals helmet, and maybe do some helmets there in the future. Um, I do go live periodically, uh, and I share that live feed on the um, custom buy, sell, trade, pocket pro football helmet group on Facebook. Um, I've had some people stop by, give me some thumbs up, give me some hearts, chat in there a little bit. Sometimes I go live. I haven't been live in a couple months. Uh, now that I have a little bit more free time, not a lot of bit, but uh, I might be able to go live a little bit more as I'm working on working on some stuff and get some get some tips, get picked up, uh, 
have some conversations with y'all. So, um, yeah, this is part one <laughs> of uh, my 3D printed Pocket Pro collection. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. Um, if you want to see another one of these videos, cool. Uh, I'm probably going to do one regardless. Um, I thought about doing some videos of my personal collection that I have. I uh, I'm a huge college football fan, so um, I I don't really need customized the latest stuff. I mean, I do, but um, my main focus is going back and getting the rare stuff from like when I was a kid in the '90s and everything like that. Um, so I've accumulated this collection of a uh, rare Ivy League and um, CF some CFL helmets that I that I've been able to find and pick up on Facebook. Um, so I thought about doing a video of that. If that's something you guys are interested in, um, let me know. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you all next one.